<laughs> one, two, one, two. <laughs> Uh, welcome back to another episode of the Bandwagon. Joined with uh, my boys, I would say, NRL players. No introduction needed, actually, should I say. KP, Matty Croaks. Hello, what is good? H. That introduction wasn't as good as the first one, but we'll work <laughs> on that. Um, boys, we only got two thirds. We've had everyone on here, but haven't had everyone here together. So together, yeah. Grateful. Tommy Cronin has joined us here too, boys. Tommy. Tommy. What's hey. good? Thanks Ooh. for having me. A uh, little background on uh, sort of me, Tommy, and KP sort of played a bit of footy together uh, or against each other through, against the, each other, through actually, the ranks. Yeah. Um, bogged him down a couple of times. Head, KP? I don't know if you remember <laughs> that. Nah. We went out I, after two. <laughs> no, mate, you boys are better than me. Hey? <laughs> Here we go. Early humble card. Don't be humble. The real the early humble, humble card. Don't be humble. Early humble. <laughs> Please don't ever do that again. <laughs> the early humble. Um, but yeah, obviously played KP in 20s. Um, yeah. Sort of, I think Tommy followed him we both sort of followed him up yeah, who here. Who followed we, who here? I followed Tommy because... I followed you, bro. I just want to be more close than you. And then I met Croaks and now my life's complete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're all together. Um, once you met me, it went happy down together. Him. But yeah, grateful. Um, yeah, so real happy to have you on here, KP and, and Croaks boys. It's, uh, it's an absolute It's a privilege, pleasure. mate, to be in honest. A, in a new setup today, which is good. We're in the in the barber shop I work in. Uh, Brunker's Barbers, if you want to just come through for a slice. <laughs> We're booked out anyway, so... <laughs> <fix it up>. <laughs> <laughs> Unless your name's KP or Matt Croaks. Yeah, you need the after <laughs> hours, after hours cut. Um, but yeah, boys, what's happening um, back in uh, Newcastle? Uh, mate, not much. We got back... I got back almost two weeks ago. Um, we had a bit of a stint there up in Burley, which I'm sure we'll talk about we in a second. <laughs> but um, no, nah, mate, it's been good sort of trying to get back to reality, getting back into a bit of training before um, pre-season that kicks off. I went home for a little bit, back to where I'm from. But other than that, mate, she's pretty chilled down here. Uh, I followed Croaks back five days, six days after. Got back on the Wednesday. Um, we'll, we'll touch, touch on, on why I was a little, <laughs> bit, <laughs> we'll a little bit late. <laughs> we'll touch on that. We will touch on that. But um, <laughs> So I got back on the Wednesday and about four o'clock and at six o'clock I was parked up at the Prince. Oh dear. Um, so I, I That's where you do your best work, there in Greeny. The, I, oh, oh. Yeah, I've, I've ripped the top off that the um, balcony at the, at the, <laughs> the top best. there. Um, but yeah, got back, been back for about a week now actually, so gone from one dream to another. It's been awesome coming home and being with the family and being with the boys. Beauty. Tommy Cronin, what's been happening to you, mate? It's another catch-up for us, too. Yeah, man, we don't see each other all that often, eh? Miss you, bro. You're I thought, is that you, got I thought miss, you just lived together. No, he moved. Yeah, no, no, I moved oh. out with the missus, yes. Yeah, he moved two streets down the road. I still haven't seen him. <laughs> <laughs> is that the missus? Is it, is How is things missus? going with the missus? Good, bro. Yeah. Good? So Lock and key, so bro. Man. Look at his good left finger there. Not uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love man It's knows a beautiful what's coming, thing bro. Yeah, yeah it is It's a dry It's a dry KP knows about it No heartbreaks this week man <laughs> <laughs> Ah very good boys Back in the Back in the swing of it Now I guess we'll touch on The trip first boys um, Who was best on Best on ground Should I say Over the 20 days And another thing I wanted to touch on was Wait, Did you just eat out all the time Or did you just cook yeah. it all or? No, no We didn't cook We had one once? We had one home cooked We were up there for 21 days We had mm. one home cooked meal And it was <laughs> uh, All thanks to uh, Semi Frizzell We didn't cook it yeah, Tyson true. Frizzell <laughs> Tyson Frizzell's missus yeah. um, no, She's a gun cook Yeah, yeah she, she is, is. So, they, um, so the Frizzells <laughs> The Frizzells were staying with um, Jaden Braley and his partner Lil yeah. And also Daniel Safidi And his partner Mackenzie So We all went around there um, For a couple of drinks In our first home cooked meal But other than that We weren't eating much bro nah, to be we had a strict nah. we had a strict diet it was yeah. wake up at 10 30 <laughs> hate ourselves <laughs> for an hour <laughs> eat a bit of sun. sushi <laughs> eat sushi then hate ourselves again <laughs> have have a little bit of downtime, then go go to the pub and have beers. And love ourselves, yeah. and then at <laughs> and like we wouldn't six, eat dinner. We would yeah. barely eat dinner. So Sometimes talking we about would. nap time, or should I say downtime? KP, you're the king of naps, I hear. Yeah, I am. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> best on ground. For is that naps. a compliment? <laughs> I feel like <laughs> it is, bro. Is is can you sleep anywhere, or is that how <laughs> no, you need to sleep? I can sleep anywhere. I um, yeah, that's I a skill, can. man. What yeah. about bus trips? I, that's a like skill. I love dribble. You know when you dribble too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that feeling. I'm not gonna lie. Has that only happened recent since you've been up in Byron? Oh yeah, look, I'm oh. really comfortable with my, my sleeping habits up in Byron. I've, I've, you know, there's a few things ca- that can make a bed comfy. <laughs> if you know what I mean? There's, there's pillows, heart. blankets, and a nice cuddle. Can I just tell a quick story about him <laughs> yeah, sleeping? One day, one day we woke up so hung, and we were that, we were that off ourselves, and we're like, "Fuck!" Oh, well, can I swear? Um, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. me, bro. We were like, uh, "Let's it's go for a run." Now, we were like, "Let's go for <laughs> a run." Go, Craig's owning another <laughs> podcast. So we, so we started doing these Sorry, hills. Shares. We started doing these hills, right? And then we we're all just buggered. So we were all laying in the driveway. KP was laying face down on a slab of concrete, having a nap. <laughs> <laughs> 
proper <laughs> nose, <laughs> proper nose squashed onto the forehead. Oh, another that. That was the cement. Snoring. Yeah, another Full one snoring. was um, Nan's Nan's apartment. <laughs> so I was supposed to organise. Yeah, yeah, I did do this. Organise like. I was basically supposed to organise the boys a place yeah. and I, I got catfished by Nan's apartment, which yeah. is essentially, <laughs> it didn't look anything before? like the, yeah, I've been catfished before, but not on this level. <laughs> yeah, okay. When it affects four other blokes, it kind of it kind of means a little bit more. Wow. Well, um, and it was inexpensive. 257, man. And I got, well. to, I got to the point in the day where I was just like, you know what? Stuff it. I, there's nothing I can do. I need to have a nap. Is this when you're trying to work <laughs> out to find somewhere else? Yeah. yeah. So we were at the height of our stress and KB's sitting on bed, sitting on the bed. He just goes, ah. I'm just going to have a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's all, all. all the responsibility. Well, what was do you do? And he just goes, nah, hey, what I'm just going to have a nap. So you had to go and talk to him and just be like, come on, Buzz, can you sort oh, this out? I had a nap. Yeah, you literally, I, I swear to God, you had But you nap. ended up going and talk to him, didn't you? Yeah, I had to, yeah, I had to suss it out. We ended up staying How do you go, hands. confrontation, bro? Ooh, nah, poor, bad. poor. I'm so bad, too. Are you bad? Are you, oh, I'm not, I feel like I'm you not would great, bro. I've gotten better. I thought you'd be a pub experience, but I'm still not great, bro. I'm a people pleaser, bro. It's not for me, bro. Yeah. I went for breakfast this morning. They didn't bring out something I ordered. I just said nothing. A hundred. You just yeah, go yeah. on. You just yeah. go on. I don't know it. if it's you, but when, it. I, when I had a missus a long time ago, yes. I always just pushed <laughs> like her. Just a long time. <laughs> yeah. Not right now. <laughs> Honestly, you know it is. I'd send her straight up and she'd be all about it. Oh, fix it up. Yeah, they, not my problem. They love it. I play the innocent it. game. No, I eat it. It's all good. <laughs> um, but yeah, now we'll move on real quick from that. Now, you boys obviously had a great time. Grouse time. Should I say? Best. It was. Yeah, it was a great four weeks. Times to look back on. Now Connor's gone. Yeah, I guess you can say. Um, no, he is. He's gone. <laughs> RIP. He's, he's, he's signed the dotted line. Yeah, he's actually he straight in the Merc and on his he's way. Got, he's yeah. got the Merc. Yeah. He's got the Merc. Good he's on him. We're happy for him. Now you boys. <laughs> now you boys are in the public eye a bit, right? Especially UKP, right? Now, I guess for life in itself, like you obviously have a life outside rugby league. Both you boys, right? Now, when you're venturing outside, to, let's say for example, do your shopping or just do all that stuff and. Quick chip to Maccas. Yeah, just quick chip to Maccas. Not you boys. Are, what is your temple? Yeah. <laughs> Few of them. On the ring. Oh, my cat's <laughs> <laughs> and then um, you come across, you know, some of mad fans and stuff like that. Obviously, you see them all the time. You're obviously very good with people. Uh, always got from time, things like that. Even with 257 and that as well, Maddie. How do you, how do you boys like switch that on all the time? Like, is it, is it easy or? I think for me, I was exposed to it at such a young age. I don't want to sort of pump myself up, but <laughs> I, that YouTube video that came out when I was like 15 or 16, it sort of yeah. put me in the Rugby. limelight. Yeah, so that sort of exposed me to social media and a little bit of attention. And to be honest, I think just being nice to people, you know, if you're nice to them, they'll be nice back. And yeah. most of my experiences, which I'm very fortunate, have been um, good ones. Like, you know, kids coming up, old 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 people coming up saying – you know, well done, blah, blah, blah. And even if there are negative ones, I sort of just have a joke about it. And, you know, so you, get the, you get the guys in the, in the pub, uh, you know, yeah. giving you shit and whatnot. Yeah. But I think they can tell you uh, But at the end of the day, yeah. like, I reckon that the main thing is they're probably a little bit jealous. And yeah. in my mind... There's something wrong in their life. Yeah, like, I'm not really too phased. And I think it's because I was exposed so young. That's he's probably how I He's good it. at it, man. Like, I yeah. see it a yeah, lot. Yeah, no, I've seen you do it. I see it so, like, because... You did it to me last week. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, mate. hey, mate, do you want a photo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, that was, a, that was the dickhead in the fold. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's me blowing up. Got the mask nah. on. Nah, he's real good, H. Like, I see him a lot. And I've, I said to him, remember when we were in Berlin, we were walking up them stairs at the pub, and I always notice when people notice him, but they don't speak to him. So like yeah. we were walking up these stairs and I seen these two boys having their dinner and KP was in front of me. And like I seen one of them go like, that's Caelan Ponga. Yeah. And then told his mate, and then I seen his mate turn around and like, he's good with it, man. I was, you know, him and Connor, they're real good with it. Probably because yeah. they're good blokes, you know. Yeah. What about you now? You've uh, sort of... Yeah. No, I don't. Up. <laughs> Hang on, let me just, let me just, let me just talk here, bro. You've been the limelight at 257. <laughs> now the boys are bringing the life, right? Now let's, let's say for example, I had a bit of a sus before, but you know, what what did your followers start at before you jumped on two five seven? I really don't. Big, know. This is a great. Well, you've done well here because Thanks. he no, actually I'd commented on this the other day. Yeah, we, no, we and talked he was about excited. it. Did you were sitting around two thousand, <laughs> no. three thousand. Yeah, I was probably about that. I was probably like three or four. But okay, I, where are we sitting? I did now? make my debut as well. Yeah, as I do well, recall. I was going to touch which, on that which as well. Which sort of bumped, like as anyone you know, like when just a lot of when, good things happening. Yeah, so so it sort of all happened. You when know? when like you know when life's good, life's good. NRL players are making their debut. They sort of you know get a couple thousand. Um, you know, mostly just fans, but I have, yeah. The two five seven has brought in a fair few, but I like it. I, I I reckon it's so cool that I can, you know, if someone enjoys the podcast and they reckon, 
you know, it's pretty bad. They make their day. That's cool. So yeah. the I'm question was, saying. what did you start on? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what are you, what are you on now? And are you grateful? I don't, I know, I I don't know the number, boys, but I know the quality of them. They're all really nice people. <laughs> <So> <laughs> that was good. So that was whatever good. it is, they're all good quality people. Now, what's your, if you're in a conversation like, you know, you it may be dragging on for a while. What's your go-to awkward conversation get out of? Like, oh, I've got to go. Or, I know you're obviously good and whatnot, but everyone's got to get home at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, um, it depends where we are. You if, if, if you're at a pub, you just go, oh, mate, I'm just, just going to take a leak and then you just duck off. Yeah. yeah. And then you just yeah. come back and then sit somewhere else on the table. Well, I've never really done that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what he told me. That's what he, he told he me. Knows, he knows about <laughs> it. No, no, no oh. I'll do that with just like, oh, oh sorry, man, <laughs> I'm going to take this. <laughs> yeah, that might be. Oh, no sorry. phone, who this? <laughs> now, you know when the conversation sort of stops and it's like, oh, so what's on for you for the rest of the day? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Well, have a good day, mate. I don't want to keep you from your friends, mate. No, mate. I'm being the bad guy. I'm talking to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. to see you, mate. All the Good best. All the best. Uh, what about you, Matty? You got to go to get out? Just nah, just sort of. Just I'm, roll with well, it. mate, I don't have people coming up to me talking my <clears> ear off, you know. Humble, it's I like coming. This I really don't. I honestly don't. See you, M I N G. Coming. <laughs> this is the, confront, the confrontation bit where I'm like, I really want to go, yeah, but, but I really want to be nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People But I really want to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Got to give them time. Man. Give them time. All right, now, Tommy, I'll throw it your way, man. You had a couple little little questions. Yeah, when the boys were up in Queensland, obviously um, Alfred's apartment, that's yeah. something I've been following for a little while too. Um, they do some mad clothing and all the food is grouse from what I hear. So how was that, boys? Bro, when you, I don't know if you can say this, but when you spoke about like you having this studio, bro, that what yeah. they have is literally, it's not even as nice as this. Right, like wouldn't this yeah. run down. It's cool. It's very vibey. Yeah, their yeah. vibe's they hectic. they got a mad vibe. Yeah. they got a mad vibe. So they just serve food. Um, they've got their clothing in there. I think they used to have a barber in there. True. Um, but they're just, I don't know, bro. They're, like Those boys are just so creative, cool. Yeah. And I feel like they're, they're doers. They're yeah. not like, mm. they don't just sort of say they're going to do something. They yeah. actually do it. Do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, we're pretty lucky to meet them. We met, we met them through a friend. Yeah. I didn't really know much about the... Right. I, I, I think I'd seen it before. I've seen it before. Yeah, I think it's, I'd seen it's it. crazy because I followed it like probably two years ago now. And yeah. I've seen them like blow up from mm. like, mate, similar to you, Matty. Um, from like, <laughs> <laughs> from like, like sneaky, sneaky jazz. Just I'm like humble to know arrogant, eh? Like, <laughs> 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 kidding, mate, kidding, kidding. Yeah, and they've um, just blown up and they're, they're like, all the clothing is obviously pretty sick as well. Yeah. Real, um, real down to earth blokes too. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I reckon just the main, their main thing is like they'll actually do stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's what we noticed when we're up there, like all these little businesses, like KP even went on like a podcast and then like we met the bloke from Valley, who's a legend. We met the Mr. Consistent people. We met Jace yeah. McAlpine and Sounds his like brother. Sounds like KP on the field, huh? Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like, and then we met the Alpha Boys. <laughs> Need to be. Huh? And everyone, everyone's like <laughs> ambitious. Like everyone sort of wants to get better and help like yeah, yeah, other yeah. businesses get better. Yeah. And um, so I think it's really good. Newcastle can be better. And that's why you boys are like. That's why we fuck, like. You easy to help you boys out and jump on here if it helps you because you boys are ambitious and it's like something that probably Newcastle has got enough of I reckon yeah. so yeah. that's yeah. why we were more yeah. than happy yeah. to Poppy do this syndrome, man. yeah, yeah a small bit. town like you see someone doing something good and it's like oh why are they doing something it's good yes, if yeah. I'm not yeah. I yeah. Yeah. think it's even just different yeah, yeah. 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 different bro. Yeah. it yeah. is bro but up there it's but up there like the owner of it they all just help each other out when we first met him bro he was wearing like these Little long pajama pants, pajama <laughs> pants. <laughs> jandals, long yeah. short, short jandals, long. and was having a beer with us. And I didn't even know he owned pretty yeah, much the whole. He run the yeah. thing, yeah. And, and he runs um, you know that Temptation Vacation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he does oh, it with his that missus. Too. That's with his missus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they he do that. heaps of like collabs together. Yeah, yeah. Well, that makes well, so yeah. so. Yeah. His missus. Yeah. He was yeah. repping like all these like just like, baggy clothes. Who is this dude? But he like vibey, like kind of cool. But I was like, who is this? And then they were like, they were like, boys, what are you doing later? They're like, come out, and we're like, all right, well, we're gonna. They were going for dinner and we went out and were like, meet yep. us out. They turn up, turn like, up puff like, a jet, puff jackets, like all chains, <laughs> all decked like, out in the mad okay. jeans, yeah, got, the two chain like, got the air forces yeah. on, they were mad. Some so people funny. can get away with that. Yeah, it but was like, so good. But they're yeah. legends, man. We, we really had a good time up there with them. Yeah, man. unreal. Um, yeah, right. Now, 257 chat. Now, creative side of 257 is mad. Like, I love what you boys are doing. I think my favourite okay. video ever of 257 was <laughs> Matty Croker starting his car. I'm trying to. <laughs> it's, it's so but good. So bad. When, it, when it talks to you, you boys are creative as KP. You're a cameraman. You've always been around the camera. Yeah, um, yeah. Do you touch, you're on the camera as much these days? Uh, no, actually. I, I was heavy for probably the first two years that I was here. Yeah. It, was, it was a passion slash hobby. Yeah. Um, but creativity is something that I really enjoy. And I think the evolution of 257 has been cool to watch. Like yeah, we started... Sure. And we wanted to just post like sports stuff and 
like cool skating videos and stuff but that's yeah. not really like, I don't really watch skating so like <laughs> what am I doing trying to promote yeah. it so and then you know we jumped on the podcast and Connor and I started that and to be honest it was pretty, pretty shoe bad box. <laughs> it was it was it was like yeah. so good to see the progression and I then understand. now that Crokes is on it we've signed it we've kind of established who we are and yeah. what people can connect with and yeah. yeah that's been pretty cool to watch yeah, yeah see, um, I guess for you boys what's what's your favourite part in like creating content is it like you know your podcast is it your you know your fans like yeah. what's is it I say podcast would be majority of what what yeah, yeah it's, that's i reckon that's what our brand identity is at the yeah. moment it's yeah. our podcast i'll tell you what i like is we're talking about it today is when like fans that i don't even know like people that well, we don't like calling them fans, like fans. you know, I don't like calling them fans, but like <laughs> followers, followers, right? Followers they or listeners, they, they take the piss out of me, and like I've, I wouldn't know them from a bar of soap, yeah. but they that's can the make, thing, but, but they can make like these mad little jokes on me, yeah. and it's, it feels mad because it like that's probably my favorite part about creating this sort yeah. of content mm. is they feel like they're a bit a part of your life, which yeah. is pretty mad, bro. Because then yeah. you know it's 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 cool. They always make jokes about me being sweaty and say I got <laughs> say I got ears. a shit car and say <laughs> I got big <laughs> ears and I got a big head and yeah. I'll yeah. never get a girlfriend. So yeah, I get torn up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> the Corolla lives on. <laughs> the us. Corolla, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got it going. I got I it think going. It's, yeah, it's been cool to sort of. Like create a When Connor and I sat down early We wanted to create like a community yeah. And that was sort of yeah, yeah, sure. What we're still doing now Which is Like people can Yeah People talk to me about croaks Like like I said the other night Like and people are saying Where's his grey shirt Like all these sort <laughs> yeah, of like Inside now. jokes yeah, yeah, That yeah, yeah. is pretty cool Yeah that's mad Now I guess um, For Maddie, um, for For everyone that wants to know We just want to describe your role In 257 Now you're the podcast leader Correct uh, Leader, I would <laughs> be, be honest. I'd say yes. Be honest. Well, I'd say be yes. Honest. I'm, the, I'm the host. I'm the host. But in terms of the business, I really don't do too much. Like they come up with the ideas about the coffee. Like they were there packing coffees yeah, today. I saw that. Yeah, Boys had the shirt off too. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Did, bro. Put in the label. It was overcloud. It was. It was, it was overcloud. I think it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> it was cloudy. It was cloudy. Uh, but in terms of the business, like to be honest, I don't do too much. KP. Runs the Instagram. I've sort of started yeah. to help out a little bit at the mm. moment, but I'm just pretty much the pro- yeah. Like, have I you got all the creative behind the Instagram? Then like I do. do up all the I do uh, with with the kick up the bum from the boys. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> if you get to like know me, I'm pretty crazy. Yeah. And, like things go over my head very easily. Yeah, yeah. like because our podcast launches at three every Tuesday. Yeah. And I've, we've been doing it for probably 20 weeks, 26 well, today, weeks. Well, today we did it, it was episode 38. So and yesterday when we uploaded, it was 37, yeah. yeah. And you jumped yeah, on it, jumped around 10. And I still still need reminding that yeah, so our podcast <laughs> goes on at 3. <laughs> 27, so, so 27 sure weeks. Sheet, man. <laughs> but like all the, all the graphics and yeah, pretty much that's everything that's on, that's that's on the... I want to... I, like, I saw your the way you put your artwork together. Like I enjoy doing that sort of stuff and yeah. I'm still learning and... Can get heaps better, but I, I sort of enjoy that. Stuff. All the shit stuffs me, kind of. So when when you see a story with just like r- like a blank screen with a story, <laughs> with a bit of writing, right? Tommy, <laughs> Tommy's like, "Can you put a story up?" I was like, "You don't really want yeah. me to put a story up." <laughs> that's Tommy, that's your avenue, bro. Uh, we'll I'll just just stick to the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm the exact same. Oh, bro. I suck at technology. Um, I guess what's good for your listeners as well, especially me, when I watch your stuff, it's not about footy. Like mm. it's it's not that content where mm. you, I guess where for everyone else your community I guess you said, you've already touched, touched on KP but they get to understand who you boys are as well outside of football mm. yeah. and I think that's massive for the listeners as well because they always see in the lim- you boys in the limelight they always see interviews with, with rugby league and it's always the same questions let's be honest it's always yeah, the same, questions. same questions same, same answers, answers. Yeah. Same shout answers. out to the boys uh, yeah. yeah yeah we're growing we're getting better that yeah. kind of stuff so I think I think yeah. for your crew as well that's sick man they get to see you guys develop and. And um, yeah, grow, which is mad. Um, any more merchandise or anything like that on the cards, man? Man, it's hard, mm. and we would love to do so much more. And we have, we've all actually, we've put probably planned out probably three or four more drops. Yeah, yeah. But um, I've got commitments with Nike. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, yeah. Man, it'd be difficult. Sticky, to keep yeah. Around I was all trying to, that. I was trying to float in the grey area for a bit there, which I'm pretty yep. good at usually. Fence <laughs> sitter. <But, laughs> um, <laughs> I was yeah. just like trying to, and but they, yeah, they sort of cracked the whip, so. Um, so how's con- that work? Conversation, because yeah, because I'm signed with Nike. Yeah, um, you can't promote anything yeah, else. Yeah, like all. I'm not really allowed to do apparel. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we were trying to do like podca- podcast merch. Yeah, and that could be a leeway. Yeah, but yeah, it's been pretty complicated. But we want to do so much more merch, and I think that for us that would help our brand grow so much yeah. more. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hundred percent. I think it's cool that you guys branched out into to the coffees and, and everything. Yeah, like that. And I'm sure you have got other things planned up as well. But yeah. um, just. More about who you are as merch well. Is, merch is massive because it's like, 
allows people to again connect with who you are and, and what yeah. your brand is and even like you know this 11 11 thing where coax is in love yeah like, <laughs> we'd love to do a shirt that has that on it yeah, like, yeah. And like, we're not doing that and just knowing yeah <laughs> oh, <boy>. obviously <laughs> with coax a, a little sign saying coax is in love <laughs> like something like that one ear on one side one on the other you know what I mean like, <laughs> ear on each shoulder you know, like those sort of things we'd love to do but it's just yeah. it's just hard at the moment what about if um, we rolled like a, a bandwagon collective you know we just if we ran it under our banner, if you ran it under your banner, probably because yeah, I, I just have to sort of disconnect so that's myself how it is. from it. I think that's yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, okay, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's, it's a sticky situation, but I, w- I do want to do more. We yeah, do want to do more. Yeah, trying to get it sorted. Yeah. The last thing on two five seven I wanted to touch on is like obviously, what are you guys sitting at on followers wise for twenty nine? Yeah, just under twenty nine. Yeah, yeah. So you're following two. Yeah, just about the same as us. Then, if you add, if you add one more to the following. Does Crokes get a follow? It's a great, it's a great <laughs> question. It is a great <laughs> question that has been asked many a time and I still do not have the answer. Can you can you elaborate on the answer? Now that you have a like little mate here to back you up. It's like it's like Christmas. It's like someone's birthday. <laughs> it's like It's a very special occasion. Easter. It's a, it's a special occasion. But no one knows when it's gonna happen. We don't want to undermine it. We don't want you to be like, oh yeah, here's a follow. But you I had I mean? my birthday like this a is month massive. ago. This is massive. <laughs> and you did nothing for and it. We wanna we wanna make this a big occasion. We wanna make sure that everyone yeah. knows that this is this has happened. Yeah. Because a part of it's a big part of two five seven. So so this is what they do, right? When when this question <laughs> gets asked, right? They I always love this. said the same. They thing, always bro, say the same word. answer. They go, they go, bro. They go, we've got something big happening. They go, just, just hang on. We got something big. But that's all they're doing is they're just trying to buy themselves time because they have not organised anything and they're too no, stubborn bro, at have. the moment just to hit a follow button. The worst thing is I have access to the Instagram. Yeah, I remember you said so that I on could, the body. I, I, could do I could just go. I could follow myself right now. How long now. do you reckon it take your boys to notice? Nah, I reckon well, the fans would actually like some yeah, of the collective would, get some would yeah, actually sorry, start. Yeah. Um, all right, two five seven chat. Happy with that, boys. Thank you very much. Now no we'll move on to. We got a bit of. Uh, <coughs> Ooh, sorry, bit of not sorry. Sorry. COVID. Yeah. You double jab, Cass. <laughs> <laughs> that was an inside joke eh, at Burley because yeah. I coughed in the sound Uber. You kept getting. Yours yeah, every cool. time I'm on the piss, I get sick. But I coughed in the yeah. Uber, and the Uber was actually filthy. Yeah. <laughs> So double jab, double, nonetheless. Yeah, double jab. All right, we'll move on. I'm now I've got jab. a little segment. I think KP's going to like this Ooh. one. It's called Pillow Talk with KP. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be so good at this. <laughs> You'll be so got good. Now, I'm just going to throw it back to a couple of episodes plenty. when, you know, we focused a little heartbreak, you know. We bought a little pregnancy pillow, as oh, we call it, cuddling bro. pillow. Now, I'm up to date on my 257. I do enjoy a bit of chat with the boys. Oh, now, geez. I guess. Am I nervous? Now you're back in Newey. Now you're back <laughs> in Newey. I've sort of answered this question since you've come in already, so it doesn't matter, but we're going to touch on it anyways. Now, Talk to now you're obviously back in Newcastle. I am, yes. We've chatted to it prior to the podcast. Now, I've got written here, it says, how far away is KP from being locked down <laughs> or is it on the cards at the moment? <laughs> now, the heavy hitters. It's coming straight with <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to tell us. Um, Man, we've got like three people listening to this. So <laughs> no, six. Just rest. tell us six listeners. Me mum's one of them, so if you want to shout out there, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Mama the owner of this listening? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I, don't, I don't know how far I am from getting locked down. Locked okay. down. I'm not... I just don't know. I was always very closed off to, to the idea. Yeah. Just because I was like, oh, I want to do shit on my own. I want to, you know, when when com- I comp on my own. That was sort of my mindset for so long. Like, I've worked this yeah. hard. I don't mm. want someone else to yeah. enjoy it with me. Yeah. That yeah. was literally yeah. my mindset. <laughs> but then, I know, that's pretty <laughs> selfish, eh? Selfish. I, like I know. <laughs> like, oh, I'll let my family and my friends, but that's about <laughs> it. Yeah. But then, but then I, I sort of spoke to someone and yep. they said, like, if this person makes you a better person, and helps you achieve these things and why not? Yeah, I love like a mentor. And uh, uh, I reckon he's close. And <laughs> what? I reckon you're close. No, and I so you're close. I'm, I'm definitely op- down open to the idea. Yeah, is what I'm see. saying. That's uh, good. Now I was just going to rewind a bit. Talking pillow talk in general. <laughs> <laughs> now pillow talk and the Goldie would have been interesting. Oh. I'm not going to. We don't have to talk much about it. But from from what I would think. Three, two, Croaks, five, seven collective Croaks boys together. Did very well, if that's what you're asking. Um, I just want to know, only when, only question I'm going to ask, are the boys happy? Like, were the boys happy in oh. Gold Coast? <laughs> bro, bro. I never had a frown. I could not frown. I was, it was weird. As Honestly, my face didn't go that way. I was looking up at the sky just going, what have I yeah. done? Nah, in all honesty, what bro, have there I done? some moments there where we actually stood back and we're like, you know what? Like, this is... 
hectic. This is yeah. We would wake up like the, maybe the one or two mornings we woke up fresh. <laughs> <laughs> and we went for like a walk. Yeah. And we walked up like this mad mountain and we're looking over the beach and we're like, the sun was beautiful. And we're like, this is so good. I think the next thing on our list was to go to a podcast in a studio that blokes were, you know, helping us out with. Yeah. Then I'm pretty sure we're just going to go for dinner with the Alfreds boys and then get on the drink again. And we're yeah. like, what? How do you? What another day, day in so paradise. Like, another day in paradise. <laughs> another <Yeah>. day. <laughs> Crokes, Crokes did some some good things out there. <laughs> Doing a bit of stretching. I just yeah. wanted to get back to that. Let's not neglect. <laughs> no, no, no. We're going to swing back around. <laughs> no, no, yeah, exactly. I want to do a full circle on this because there's, there's so a lot to So let's come back to Crokes. Now, when we think Matty Croker, to describe Matty Croker, <laughs> all I want to say is, I think it sums him up, legend. No, best. Oh, he's very man. humble. We were just talking about this earlier. He, he was that guy. He's always out there. You know, we talked to a couple of girls and, you know, he was <laughs> always... How, 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 t- how tall are you? How tall are you? How tall are you? I think I'm 6'2". He was, always, he was always 6'2". I'm 5'8". Right, so he, works in, he, walk, he, he walks into the Not Burley everywhere. Pav. <laughs> he walks into Burley Pav, seven foot. <laughs> He's seven foot. He's bulletproof? Bullet, bulletproof, shoulders back. On that and he's walking life. around, mate. And he was on fire. And it was good to see. It was good to see us. I, I took a step In back. His element. It was, bro. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was so That's the moment you think about down the track and you're like, oh, how good them. was this? Good That's fun. when he gets locked up, you can think about all the times you had together. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and vice versa. He struggles you know, to get a girlfriend, so it might be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you go from propping me up to just shoot me down real quick. It's eh? a nice milligram. Yeah, keep yeah, you grounded. Brought me up to seven inches. He's got to keep you at that level. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, yeah, yo, yo. All right, we'll, we'll finish uh, on pillow talk. Thanks for that, KP. No, nah, it's like, um, you know, yeah. I think that for all our six listeners, that's an understanding of KP and, and how he rolls. There's one question I didn't want to get asked. Yeah, it was <laughs> that probably one. that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. No nah, misses, anyways. Good. All right, good. moving on. Let's talk kit, right? Ooh. Connor and all right, I had a podcast. Just a background. I had a podcast with Maddie and Connor yeah. um, when KP was on Origin duties. Um, shout outs, but um, <laughs> Connor turned up with this mad kit. Um, me and Maddie boy was just cruising, <laughs> just on that cruise kit. <laughs> like I look semi okay. I know? don't. I don't really rep outside. But my now, area. like when I see obviously you KP, like especially when you post and stuff like that, and when I see you around, you're always rocking mad kit. When you moved in with Connor, mm. did yeah. you? That's or, where I probably hit. Is that is that where everything changed? Yeah, for you? Connor Pink. Styles. Yeah, yeah. Connor's definitely the the fashion one in the group. He's, 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 he's takes pr- a lot of pride in how he looks, and yeah. um, so he should, lad. He's a glamour. Yeah, he's oh, a good bro. sort, bro. What was he on Wikipedia? Five two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. And he I was six eight at the yeah. Burley. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he was tall. So he was is that when he got his shirt off? <laughs> he went, oh, yeah. yeah. He never had a shirt yeah, on. Yeah, I don't think he put one on, yeah. Um, well, I don't, don't think he brought one, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I he, haven't taken one He off. definitely <laughs> helps. Yeah. I never really cared. I, know, I sort of, I go through my, my, my phases even now, but yeah. he, the Connor was definitely, I still sort of, not. yeah, I sort of copy Connor in a sense. I mean, he copies, we, like, like we all do, NBA players, yeah. NFL yeah. players. Yeah. Gun like style. Devin Booker is probably my favourite at the Fresh. moment. He's just... Oh, he's the man. So. Do you just get into it much, Tommy? Like, do you do you fashion like, in that? Yeah, like oh, I know man. you'd make your clothes, but I mean, like <laughs> in in I fashion am, itself. I think I'm j- I'm starting to branch out a bit more, but I, I stand to stay in my stay in my lane a yeah, bit. But in, yeah. man, I love looking at uh, like a lot of that shit. I've been yeah. following the NBA tightly from like last season and and all of that. But um, no, nah, there's just some things that I think are mad. Yeah. I'll even like every now and then I'll buy a jacket or something. I think I'm mad. I'll yeah. look at it in the mirror. I'm like, nah, <laughs> can't pull that off. Yeah. Yeah. Me, when I moved in with Tommy, like, man, like, not even joking. When I was at camera and that, like, I wear the same kit, man. Like, yeah. like I never, like, I was, I didn't like venture out. I didn't do anything different, man. It was always the same stuff. But then I moved into Tommy. Tommy was always packages were just always turning up. We've got to get on this. Oh, yeah, 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 that's good. Um, so I just got on there, just started buying heaps of kit. But then the last probably like six to eight months, I've just been like venturing out, like. Oversized pants, bro. Like the cuffs at the bottom on that boot yeah. cut. I'm on yeah. that. Okay. I'm on that bandwagon now. Yeah, that's mad. A lot of it. Um, you just got to wear it, bro. You got to rock it. Well, that's it. Confidence man. is key yeah, in confidence. a lot of things. That's yeah, it. that's what I noticed up in Burley. Like, you can. Oh, I think it's just a different culture up there. But people would just wear whatever they want and get away. With they it. rock just it. Pull it's off. Facts, cool. Facts. facts. Yeah. If you're here, shit, who cares? Like people. If you wear a little bit something different, it's kind of like, what are you wearing? Yeah. Like, and um, I was speaking to someone else the other night about this, and he was like, he likes when people ask him, what are you wearing? Because like, oh, what are you wearing? Just a yeah. fucking t-shirt from Thrills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Man, I was just going to say. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Every wharf That's what everyone oh, wears yeah, out, yeah. eh? Prince. I get it. Yeah. All on the Thrills. Like, um, 
Yeah, so yeah, it's just it's probably newy, but yeah, you just gotta rock it. Just another thing on Cornish yeah, fashion. That. He's like a chameleon, eh? Wherever we go, like he's got a kit for that certain mm. event. Like if say if we're going golfing, he got the grouse golfing kit. <laughs> yeah. like, say we're going to the race, he's got the grouse. <laughs> what did he wear to night golf? Did he have the like, full kit? Yeah. Uh, no, no he had we, to come buy from, one. we come from Mr. Consistent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think he had to I had to borrow but Texas actually. Yeah, but if he was here at his own wardrobe, he would have he would have had the grouse. <laughs> so what about you, Mr. He Croco? Could you get away with it? You go. His thing is like I'd rather be overdressed than underdressed. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his that. thing. I have noticed that, man. He's fresh, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah. But he pulls it off. And the that's probably his confidence. Yeah, like, he pulls it off. He's grouse at yeah, it. Yeah, you just got to not care. Yeah, exactly. That's why yeah, I that's with. I've only <laughs> moved into that probably the last yeah. four months, eh? Like, yeah. wearing docks and stuff. Like, yeah. shit like that. Fuck it. Yeah. No, 100%. Who, 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 well, you're going to. Uh, yeah, it's just. It's, it's a waste of time if you look back in five years. It makes me laugh, man. If you look back in five years and go, oh, geez, I wish, like, I sort of dressed a bit more out there and that. It's like that cycle, eh? Like, I think the fashion industry haircuts as well. Just as cycles. See, if I put on some of the kit, my old boy would be like, what are you wearing, bro? Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what is that? My old boy wears a RM pants, RM boots. Yeah. And same stuff all the time. You know my what I mean? My old boy's yeah. got the, the same New Balance joggers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my ones, my ones. Yeah, they're in. Classics, they're coming back and to they're back. coming back, <laughs> Everything goes for New Balance. Yeah. Cool. Everything does. Um, but what about you, Croce? Do you reckon you can get away with what, what the boys wear? Nah, we'll see. Because I'm, I'm a bigger fella. So Big Aussie How many times have we gone into the shop I've gone oh that's a nice shirt And it goes up to an XL And I'm yeah, like ah oh, shit What do you usually wear So too? I just nah Well because I like wearing oversized shirts Because I hate anything sort of tight on me Yeah Got a little you know A little muffin top nah, nah, <laughs> Big nah, off nah. season you know so, <laughs> so I always just wear like a 3X And I'm, I'm pretty straightforward I always wear black Safe colour So those, no sweat Show us your music black, black No I'm good today I'm good today <laughs> yeah. Tell them about the shoes He's like pumping the air con for you Oh so yeah, I got the air con pumping There's this story about the shoes So Walked into maybe Hype or something. We're up at Pack Fair uh, up in like Broadbeach or something. And we walk in. I was like, those Nikes are mad. I was like, I'm getting them. Usually I don't rep like shoes that are like too out there. I was like, they are mad. And I was like, can I grab these? And they're like, oh, I've only got them in a 12. I've got size 13, 14. I was like, oh, give them a crack. Could not fit. Oh, no, they might have had 11s. Couldn't fit. I was like, damn it. Wanted to try another pair. No good. Uh-huh. Ended up settling with like the third pair. KP wasn't with me at the time. I was with Connor. Anyway, we're just sort of walking around. <laughs> me and KP, well, KP laughing. Me and KP just sort of like, we sort of bumped in. He's like, oh, I might go grab some shoes because we're just having a bit of a day, spending a bit of money, like buying nice stuff. And KP walks in, he goes, ooh, those Nikes are mad. And I was like, KP, I was like, please don't. Those are the ones I really wanted. They didn't have my size. And he goes, yeah, that's more of an incentive for me to buy them. <laughs> Did you get them? Yeah. And, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, and I've seen them today. He must, have, he must have worn them out on the weekend and they are trash. <laughs> and I, was, I was like, hey, I was like, they're my shoes. Yeah. When he oh, told me, I was gone. like, I'm so going to buy them just yeah. for that reason. Yeah, and I was like, oh, you little fuck. Oh, that's gun. Um, all right, move on from that. Um, now, I guess playing rugby league for so long, boys, being an NRL system, you've had some good education from certain people coming in and out. Now, just a quick one to touch on. Like, obviously, outside of rugby league, your boys have, like, money to play with in terms of that. Now, have you been taught, like, you know, whether it's investments or building it? You know, obviously, JT has a mad portfolio. Yeah, he of, does. Um, I think he lives off $300 a week from what I hear. That might be a little bite by. <laughs> no, like that's his budget for. A week, um, yeah, no, 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 no. Like what he takes out of his savings, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, like he yeah, uses yes. weekly. Yeah. And um, I guess for you boys, have you been taught that kind of stuff? Like as in a, a portfolio or what to do outside or, you know, like whether you invest money in shares or a that little, kind of thing? A little bit. Me, I've, I've, I know a little bit about it. I've been told like investments and that a really good way to go. But I, like I'm not being humble. I'm, I'm, not, I'm actually not. I just haven't come across some money that like good bit of money yet because yeah. um, I'm still starting off in the NRL and that's still on sort of bloody peanuts but I know KP's got a lot of good people around him for his mm. money and it's not like we're propping him up we all know you know he's on a good wicket but he's got a lot of good people around him his mum he mom. actually can't even touch his money because yeah. his mum just looks yeah, after I'm, it all I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I so touched on that before it's true. On the mums. Um, it's true yeah I guess she's the best old mumsy a little again not I, can't, I was exposed to NRL I was in NRL since I was 17 yeah. in the system and my family, we didn't come from a lot of money. I know, I, like, I kind of have it now, and yeah. people just think that I've al- we've always had it. Yeah, yeah. Um, not like, my, my parents and that weren't very well off growing up, so money's kind of, for us, as much as we don't really, it's not something that makes us happy, but it's something we understand, yeah. you know, we don't s- spend willy-nilly because yeah. we've never had it. So, you know, like, a lot of, I don't control my money at all. My mum has all my money. Yep. Um, you just get money to play with each week. I get like, yeah, I get an allowance um, each month. Oh, yeah, because you get paid monthly. Monthly, yeah. So she'll give me my money for the month. 
and then the rest of it she looks after. And we went over that a couple of times with Bill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> couple couple hey calls to mum. <laughs> oh, hey just another couple hundred, please. Like, I'm at I'd the be, Billy pub again. I'll be at the pub and I go, Mum, I might need a little bit more for tonight. <laughs> um, I'm kids. My, like she's pretty good. She'll she'll give me the money if I need it. And off yeah. seasons are you know probably a time she where knows. I splurge yeah, a little I think bit. She knows, yeah. But um, she yeah, it. just like um, yeah, and just be. I want to be smart with my money. I want to be. For sure. I would have like, when I finish footy or retire whatever. Retire early, bro. Retire have a family. Yeah. I want to just be able to provide. Yeah, you for know sure. what I mean. Yeah, hundred percent. Now, sweet, that's good. Um, beauty, obviously. KP, how long you signed for? I think we've got three more, three more years here. Yeah, to be honest, sweet. It's a long yeah. time. When are you going to the Dolphins? Well, that was. <laughs> oh, we're going to touch on that. The Hang plan on. was to go there. No. <laughs> <laughs> be careful, bro. You don't want to get yeah, quoted. Be very careful, bro. We're going to get quoted. Right <laughs> no, no, no. Just kidding. <laughs> gotcha. Crank patrol camera there. There. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to play a quick game. Now I want you to think of the first word you think of when I when I throw <laughs> this word at you, KKP. We'll get KP to go first, and we'll get Maddie to go after. All right. Now, Kalen, two five seven. Growing. That was my. Nice. That was the first word. Nice. Thank you. Matt Croker. Uh, I so wanted to say humble. The humble is the first <laughs> word. Oh, that's good. But that's good. That's good. But there's there's signs of of <laughs> this of, of <laughs> boys. This. I'm telling you. Um, Prince of Newey. No, um, <laughs> be honest, what do you uh, think? Be honest. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, 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 be James honest. Bell. <laughs> Uh, uh, you're a stitch up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that was question was from Maddie. That was from Maddie. That was good. That was, um, that was actually. Um, what about last one? Love life. Oh, I actually got one more after this. Fuck. I had. You don't want to know the word that come into my mind. I bet you I know the name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not going to say her name. Yeah, no, nah, nah, respectfully, yeah. respectfully, go, respectfully, go, go, respectfully, go, go, yeah. and um, she's probably watching. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a massive um, fan of the yeah, show. Absolutely. Yeah, massive. I just saw the just the celeb that we all are fan of, Jennifer Aniston. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Talk to me about that. Um, first word. I, oh, you want to know my first word? What? Yes, nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty. <laughs> Honesty is key. Yeah, yeah true. Bro. She's uh, hot, bro. Nah, I thought friends. She's, she's, I just friends. she's different hot, though. Straight away, I just thought friends. Yeah, yeah I know, but... Friends she's cute, though, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, like she's hot. Let's leave okay. it at that. She's 50, bro. She's, she's doing cute, well. She looks bro. good. All right, thanks, KP. Let's move Maddie's way. <laughs> this could be First one, thing. Roosters. Connor. Oh, <laughs> dog. Yeah, but elaborate. But then when I thought Connor, I thought dog... <laughs> Dogging your mates, <laughs> leaving a growing brand. That's what I thought. That's, that, that was all the one word. Okay. Uh, it was like a password, just all one word. <laughs> Larry Ender. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought True. of Randy. I thought of my True. mate Randy. We always True. try to get Toyota on Corolla. Shit house. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Goa. Yeah, dead. Gone. Um, and $10. King, King of Green Roof. <laughs> I thought of him. Nah, <laughs> not me. <laughs> oh no, I thought of you. Bro. Who? Who is? I haven't. I don't. I haven't been there, bro, for a while. I was on the weekend, obviously, Mason but Nino. yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Nah, okay. He's you, in the shit house. Back in the day. Back in the day, it used like, three it years. Used three years it. ago. It three years it. ago. Yeah. Yeah. Used to be the bro, spot. To be honest, Mate, that was the spot. Man. Was that? It it everywhere was goes through cycles. Yeah, like, hundred. What sort of pumper now? You reckon the Prince? The Prince, 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 Prince would be number one. Prince, Prince, I'm yes. telling you, bolos. The Wolf will always Quick have shout Sunday. Out to Queens Wolf, yeah. yeah, Queen's Wolf, yeah. <laughs> and that's <laughs> always Wolf. a Sunday. It's always a special. We'll always have this, yeah, a Sunday. Well, well, spot. Oh, obviously, I'm not from like. No, are you from here, man? I'm from Tari, near yeah. Tari, little Tari, uh, well, Nabiakta. When I came up, like everyone at the pub was like, everywhere went through cycles. Prince used to have Sundays. Yeah. like that was their yeah, spot yeah. like yeah. ages ago. So yeah. just goes around. I reckon bolos like think about Bar Beach, Lowland, Adamstown. I reckon they're all coming into they're their little cycle. Off, eh? I reckon yeah. it's going to be them next. It's yeah, come around. That's where the prees are at. That's where it's at. Oh. Yeah, well, that's where you'll find KP most, most oh, Sunday no, hours no. in the sun. I'll be at home <laughs> having um, um, strawberry chocolates, with, <laughs> you know, watching a, a nice Netflix Special series. summer. <laughs> strawberry milkshake. Yeah, strawberry with milkshake. the pillow. <laughs> with the pillow. The and spray the perfume. <laughs> you got to buy the same perfume spray that on yeah. there, bro. <laughs> shit. How good is right. talking shit? <laughs> <laughs> Not on here, bro. Uh, Q and A. Nice. Um, first one is for. Oh no, nah, we can't do that. That's for Connor. Um, <laughs> Ask it. Let's one of the boys, it. one of my mates, asked how you pulled up on after last Wednesday night at the Argyle. 
Ooh, that, we, was, that yeah, was me rough. or him? Because <laughs> we were both um, I think rough. it's for both of you boys. Oh, we were dusty. We were very dusty. Very we had to do a podcast the next day at eleven. And at we yeah, and we probably carried on a fair bit too <laughs> much. <laughs> That's fair. And then um, if you listen to our latest episode, the sunrise was Connor's. Nice. Connor's first. That's all that matters. Connor's first words. He said, "It's so <laughs> shit." Mm. He sounded like Darth Vader. His voice was that deep. Yeah, <laughs> and then, yeah. We're rats. We're rats. All right, uh, it was good there. Taxi Hoy. Who would win the fight? It'd be a long story if Kalen gets into it on why. So just a quick. Who Who's wins the, the fight? fight between? I guess it's between you and Ka- you and Tex. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, you, you three you boys. It'll be you three boys. Not me. They keep me out of it. Who would win out of you two? Let's just say that. You'd win. Okay, let yeah. me tell you something. How do you roll him like a hot tortilla? Let me tell you, you? Let me tell you something. I'm the alpha. I'm the alpha. <laughs> let me tell you something, right? Yeah. There's, a lot, there's been a lot of fight <laughs> and then a lot of wrestling going on in the last three weeks. But they never involved me, HVD. Because okay? they know what's up. Because I think they just know. I'm a heavyweight. I'm a, I'm a couple <laughs> classes too above. I'm too, I'm too heavy for them. <laughs> do you reckon you'd, reckon you'd win, but? Do you reckon? Don't yeah. be stupid. Or, okay. And then Connor would beat me. If I'm being honest. If I'm being honest. In a physical fight, Connor would beat me. Mentally, I think I've, I've cracked him before. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have, yeah. I've you cracked him mentally before. But um, so it would go Croaks, Connor, me, Daylight, Tex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Texy. I love you put the Daylight he, he in. Asks, he <laughs> asks the question and he gets flogged. <laughs> That's what he gets. That's what he gets. Um, a special someone named Chris Randall. <laughs> Just asked if you've been doing much charity work lately, KP. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the he's Ken really Stevens. good with kids, mate. Steers, oh, Steers. The Ken um, Stevens, the Ken Stevens. Croaks is actually. <laughs> no, I think he was awarded. talking about. Did um Connor get the? Uh, was it Ken? The Ken yeah, Stevens medal. Did he, yeah. did he get it? Yeah, was, he, he, he got it. I last think year. yeah, we've yeah, all been sweet. pretty kind to um, the public. Over the last four weeks, public, <laughs> public have been kind to some of us. <laughs> um, this is a good one. I thought this was a good one. You boys could touch on this one. Why is Connor ditching you guys and in uh, the nights? I don't want to speak for him. I'll, give you, I'll, I'll, give you, um, I'll, give I'll just give my opinion. I'll give you two, <laughs> give you two words: Mercedes Benz. Oh. <laughs> and nah, um, uh, uh, we love paper what else we got here? Let me just go see all. Let's Paul just Connor. go for a random nah, one here, boys. Random. Um, what's He's the hardest part of NRL, boys? Well, I've only played two games. Preseason, um, yeah, yeah fuck, preseason. So sh- nah, I think. So I was injured for the first half of the year, and so I didn't really have to go through the the week to week pressure and mental yeah. preparation that it takes. Yeah, I was just trying to get back from injury. And I reckon when I got back from injury, that was the hardest part I found, because there's not. I can, it's not that bad. Of a, it's a pre- pressure is a privilege at the end of the day, but mm. I reckon that's probably. Apart because everything else is is fun. All the problems that we face are problems that I love. Like, yeah. oh, I have to do gym. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have oh, to I wake have up. To run what a shame! Yeah. I got to get oh, jacked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I have to make myself better. Pain oh, I have to wake good. up. Like, oh, I have to eat good. Like, all these problems are actually not really that bad. Yeah. Yeah. Can I t- so the only ones probably the mental sort of. Can I say? So, can I say something that's real hard that no one ever talks about is making the NRL. <laughs> Oh, 100%. <laughs> think, of, think of how many people have tried and just couldn't yeah. get there, bro. And you got yeah. two here. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. It's, hey, bro. Not hey, bro. it's not over. It's not over, I thought it was over. Hey, bro. No, it's over. I thought it's it was done. over for me. It's done. Um, mate, so many people have tried their guts out and they just can't get there. Yeah. Right? That's, that's, that never gets talked about, how hard it is to actually get yeah. there. <laughs> get your first yeah, game. Yeah, that is tough. Even like just playing, like, I'm not going to say you know whatever we did but like even just playing 20s and just playing cup and things like that like it's some ridiculous number who actually make the nrl which yes, we touched on yes. um so that's i think that in itself it is tough it's like under 20 percent or something of under 20s players only make nrl it's yes like it's it's only i remember crazy how that is from our team there'd be like six boys from 20s yeah Kotrick. coker Croaks. Less, pl- like less, like there's a very small number crazy, that yeah. actually play more than like ten games. Yeah, well, yeah. the average well, NRL career is, is forty two games. Yeah, it's two seasons. Yeah, yeah, two seasons, yeah, 40, yeah. forty four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's same, same. That's it's bizarre. Not, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed for Croaks, my boy. Let's yeah. go. Uh, <laughs> a long way to go. <laughs> and um, last more. question is: Why hasn't Matt been commenting beauty on my post? <laughs> I kind of <laughs> miss who, it. Who I wrote that one? I started. Um, Brook. Blurton yes. is that is that her? That's, uh, is, do you know her? Do you know her? Don't know. I never met her. Never met her. Do in you my know? Life, but do you I know start, of her? I started. I do know of her. I started doing it again because I felt bad. Didn't know. Good man. Didn't know she. Um, Bit of charity. Would have missed her. Oh, she is not charity. <laughs> she is definitely not. Charity. So, so do you want to like touch on this? Who is she? Really? Well, when I I watched Where is she? I watched The Bachelor um, one <laughs> season. I think it was with the Honey Badger, and she was on it. What a man! And I was like, bro, she is a calamma. Anyway, I started it as a joke, and I'd comment on her photos and I'd always just say beauty and because there was like a f- certain few blokes that would follow it and like my comment and just find it it was just like 
just a cheap laugh just to do something and yeah. she would always post anyway then she she must have noticed and then she started liking the comments and then she followed me it was like nothing i think she's just been i think nice. it's all thanks to kp you gotta thank she's KP been, for she's been too. nice <laughs> hey, he's done these and he's then um, after he's chasing her. and then um she went away from social media for a bit um, I think she's going for a mental stuff. No, because uh, she said it. And um, oh. and then I just sort of never got back. <laughs> down time with, what a guy, We should have had a segment, Downtime with Maddie Croaks. <laughs> oh, it's just like and then I just, uh, keeping I never, tabs. I never started doing oh, no, it again. Oh, no, check followers, how many? Oh, sweet. I never started doing it again <laughs> until, until last night when I found, out, I found out about this question. Why am I not getting followed? So <laughs> that's, that's the story, boys. Not much to it. Um, and a good one here for KP. When, how often does KP get to see the whanau? Um Jammer, bro. That's what it says, you know. Uh, Jordan Jordan Koto, what's Jordan Koto, Koto. Family? Kima, family, bro. Um, I'm lucky enough to have my mum and dad, my little sister here. Extend like my uncles and aunties. Got a massive, massive family back home. So dad's like one of eleven. So yeah. he's got a huge family. Yeah. So um, back home is is full of them. I think I've got cousins that are coming out of the woodworks as well. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. I've got every second. Per- Come across a bit of money, eh, your yeah. cousins? <laughs> 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 um, now they want to know me. Um, <laughs> 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 nah, nah, but um, Put me in your yeah, I don't really get back to New Zealand very often just because when I get the time off, I sort of want to. Well, I can't now, but a couple of years ago, Connor and I went overseas and we went to Europe, so I want to yeah. do. I want to do more of those things. Tommy, yeah, have you got sure. a bit of Mary in you? Nah, I'm Filipino. He's oh, Filipino. Filipino. Yeah, I get that a lot. I got a bit yeah. in me, boys. Kia ora koutou, kia ora koutou, Ooh, what does that That's mean? That's actually pretty good. What does it mean? It's my phone. It means afternoon. Oh, no, nah, I used to live with a Kiwi boy and he's taught me heaps of words. Oh, like, true, 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 true. Cheer my cuss. <laughs> Shout, no, sweet. Out. Uh, Shout out. I think I that'll do me. for the questions, bro. <laughs> um, everyone just wants to know about girlfriends and that, but we'll move on from that. Croaks wouldn't know. <laughs> 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 Move on and see. Croaks can't actually speak at this. <laughs> Good. Oh, hasn't yeah. had a broken heart yet, has he, though? Uh, no, no, you haven't. True, true, no true. pillow talk with Maddie. Maybe soon. Hopefully nah. you don't go through it, bro. It's nah, tough, I've been some young wouldn't ones. Wish it on you. Love some tough, young man. ones that scarred me, boys, you know, 14, 15 years old. Damn. Yeah, they're the ones that scared you. Know? They do, they eh? They're the ones I think about at night they didn't like I'm love going them to sleep. Back. <laughs> you know what I mean? They didn't love them back. <laughs> <laughs> still Those ones where you write the love letters, oh. rip them up in front of you. Alrighty. <laughs> I, gave, I gave her everything and she gave me oh. nothing, boys. Oh, well. Um, oh. Boys, last thing we'll touch on, 22 season. Um, KP ready to rumble in the jungle, ready to rumble, get one better, couple better, get in the GF, win the GF. Matty Croaks. You're good to go for again. Yeah, for the yeah, nights, yeah, just yeah. I'll, I'll be full time again, uh, which is awesome. So I, just, I really can't wait. I hope it's a big year um, for the club. Um, I can just see it going nuts, bro. I just got a real good feeling about next year. I reckon everyone's in a mad headspace. All this COVID shits out the door. Like once, once sort of November or December comes around, it'll all be it'll all be in the past. And I just see the club going forward. Got the new facilities yeah. uh, post Christmas, probably yeah. January. Can I we think. get a walkthrough, KP? Oh, the, the facilities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no, I was just yeah, talking about your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually houseless at the moment. I've got no <laughs> hey, bro, I'm, I'm you can see no my house. bed if you want. <laughs> All right, is there enough? Is there <laughs> it's, enough room? It's, it's a king, bro. Um, I'm actually houseless at the moment, so. If anyone's got no, a I think I might have found you a joint. Where are you staying at the moment, bro? No, nah, Mum's. I think I did. No, you did. I, did. No, I actually did. He's lying. You got to pay cash, but it's a two better. <laughs> at yours? No, nah, little townhouse. He's talking shit. I'm being serious. He's, he's putting you in the shed, bro. I'm being serious. I've got, I've got something for you. We'll I'll talk about that. That might help show. with my 22 season. Talk about it after the show. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, yeah, boys, ready to rumble. Um, yeah. Gents, what can I say? Thank you so much for joining me on the Bandwagon Wild with T Cronin. T Cronin, you got anything else before we knock this on the head? No, that's sweet, boys. Just fuck, pleasure to have you. Here. No, honestly, I know thank you. I know you boys are like busy and just yeah, hundred percent. So. so thanks so much thanks for the time. No, we're never too busy for you, lads. We, me and KP were talking. Oh, we, do it, we do anything for you, fellas. Yeah, you it's stop. actually been pretty you good. You both do a lot of real good stuff in the mm. community. Give all your bandwagon stuff to homeless people and that, and you know. H, I know you cut a lot of homeless hair and Tommy, you're just a champion. So <laughs> thanks for having us, boys. We really us. do appreciate it. It was good fun. This is a good laugh. A few stitch ups in there. I love it, though. <laughs> it's okay, good. Dude. Honestly, boys, Actually, really it's good. been an absolute pleasure. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm just going to hit this reach over and hit this button because I'm the man. <laughs> Stay groovy, boys. Take care. Thanks, boys. Thanks for having us. Beauty. My bro over here is looking in. What's up, baby? Hey, bro. Good game, bro. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs>
Send it to us. Send it to us. Hey, <laughs> right, right, listen to this. Yeah. 